In this video, I will show you how to set up your Casio uh, G-Shock GBD200 watch and pair it with a phone so you can update the time automatically and also receive all notifications and uh, track GPS activities and stuff like that. So first what you have to do is basically go to your phone and uh, go to your app store uh, and search for this app g-shock move app basically and this is available on the android phones and also on the iphones so simply download and install this app first okay once it's downloaded then also make sure you have your uh, bluetooth enabled here so make sure it's enabled and you can uh, basically yeah, uh, search for bluetooth devices then let's open this app okay and you'll need to uh, register at first so First, you need to uh, set your region here. So you can, sorry, click here on the change region and select basically uh, the one you want to. Okay, then select and confirm settings and proceed basically. And then you basically need to uh, log in with your uh, Casio ID here basically. Um, okay, and you'll need to basically make an account here. So uh, so, uh, not a member yet, create an account here, basically. So, you can click that. And you can also use just your Gmail if you want to, or may register with an email address also if you want. And this whole process is kind of slow. And yeah, once you have logged in and signed up, uh, yeah, you have to basically scroll through all these agreements. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, and yeah, make sure this is uh, like, you, you don't need this if you don't, don't want. Um, okay, so you actually need to agree. So because, yeah, you basically need to sign uh, sign out your soul, basically. <laughs> okay, so uh, make sure you uh, enable this while using the app on the Android, basically. Okay. Okay, allow all notifications, and then basically you need to select your uh, model name. Again, click allow basically. Uh, okay, and then what you have to do basically when you get to the screen, uh, you have to move to your watch then. Okay, and then first make sure you are on this uh, main screen, like where you can see the time, this screen basically. And then what you have to do is basically press this upper button here and hold it for like three seconds till this menu pops up. Then use this lower button to basically scroll down. Okay. And pairing. So select this is this button, start button. Okay. And click connect. And then what you have to do is basically move the watch uh, kind of closely um, to, yeah. And as you saw, the phone app found it and we have to click the add button here. Okay, to take some time to sync and pair basically. Let's see how long. Okay, so this is very important. Make sure you click pair. Okay, that's gone. And looks like it finished setting it up. And as you can see, it even uh, like enabled our correct time here already. So let's click next then, and we can explore the app as well. Then also in this app, it will ask you to basically enter your uh, height and weight and where you're wearing your watch. Make sure these details are correct because uh, it calculates your distance if you're not using GPS, using your height basically and your stride length basically. Also your calories burned and stuff like that. So make sure you enter this correctly. Okay, let's go next. And yeah, all the settings are, are like the time and date has been already uh, yeah, done basically on this watch. So, okay. And then we have to basically enable this notification access to uh, receive notifications, enable this for the move, hello. Okay, can go back next. And yep, again, hello, contacts. Uh, also, this phone can notify you, sorry, this watch can notify you when you have re receive an incoming call. So make sure you allow it. 
So also we need to uh, change this uh, battery optimization settings because otherwise this watch will have troubles uh, connecting to your phone and will be kind of sluggish. So click allow. Basically a lot of things that you need to agree to. So just read them through and yeah. So, and yeah, this is the app and everything is done in this app. As you can see, you can see your distance here when you track your activities, your weekly stuff here, your steps. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Not much there basically. And you can even view during the days and history here once you start using the watch properly. And also in this uh, same app, we click more here at the bottom here, we can click a uh, some watch settings and we can also customize uh, various things here uh, and they're much faster and easier to do than to do them on the watch if you want to do them on the watch again you have to press this uh, upper button basically for like three seconds and you can also access most of these settings on the watch itself but it's uh, faster to do it and more easy on the phone app actually and it will send over the settings to it anyway this is how i do it on the gbd 200 if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you!